Yeah, I think it's very good that you raise it in Krakow because we're talking about energy and energy use and I think product design is very much responsible for that, for making the world better, for circular economies. Um, it's our responsibility to communicate to very large companies the value of that, the profit you can bring from that. And we need to design a better future, not only for the users, but also for the planet. So design has that ultimate responsibility to engage with commercial organizations, companies, to talk about new profits areas. And I really believe fundamentally there's a new profit stream to come from clean energy, clean products, products that don't go into landfill. And this is the role of, of good industrial design to make products with real relevance. Um, so it's a responsibility to correct what's gone wrong in the last 40 years and make the next 40 years much better for the planet and for users. Yeah, absolutely. I believe the, how it would be driven is by profit, but responsible profit. But those companies will become the new Facebooks and the new uh, Googles. So once we get over the idea of everything is digital, things will become physical again. And I think the way we connect, the way we experience products is the fundamental aspect, but the memory of that experience, how you return it back to the, to the person who's produced it responsibly, will build these future companies. And I think it's a responsibility of good industrial design to make a cleaner planet. There's a two, there's a two, two approach, there's push and pull. And I think what we need to do is to encourage um, companies to change by pulling them towards us, by showing good industrial design practice, but also legislation through companies, uh, through uh, regional governments will also um, push companies to change. So we're seeing it in the likes of companies we work with, like Siemens, who are going to become completely green, um, uh, making sustainable products. Um, so we're just encouraging companies right the way across the board to make products more responsible, reduce packaging, reduce waste, um, make the products smaller, function better, use less energy. So on every level, a good industrial designer can really make things really better for, for everybody. Yeah, I think what's going on now with clean energy, uh, solar, solar energy, um, I think there's a great movement now with um, wind power, but the idea that your house can be earning energy when you're not there and you contribute to the environment positively. So I think these are the first indicators that there'll be a tipping point with these technologies. People will understand that there is a greater value in having more sustainability. And I think this is a great challenge to show that users there's profit in being clean. And I think this is the, the big challenge uh, moving forward.